Hi everyone. Guess what? It's Friday night. It's still hot. We've got a day. It's close to 100 this week. So it's time for some more summer wines. Hi everyone, I'm Nancy and welcome back to my channel. Welcome to Friday or what I like to call Wine Diary Day. So anyway, I am so glad that you are here to join me. It means more to me than I can ever let you know. So thank you guys so much from the bottom of my heart. Your support means so much to me. So thank you. If you are new to my channel, I hope you would consider hitting that little red subscribe button over there. I would love to have you come back and join us for future videos. And um, part of the thing that I do lately is wine diaries. Um, yeah, I love wine. I love um, trying to figure out flavors, having a little fun with it, having some snacks with it. And most important, I love chatting to you guys. And occasionally, you know, dressing up in weird costumes. Yeah, that's me. So again, I've got this lemon halter dress on and i got of course some bling here that i got from shane loving shane for costume jewelry i guess i used to grew up calling it costume jewelry cheap jewelry but i guess now it's called fashion jewelry and i got some rings here they are all from shane as well so anyway thank you guys oh the hat i forgot the hat must be from amazon yeah so anyway i am just enjoying doing these videos and just experimenting having some fun I've been exploring the deeper, darker, the red wines that have been so, so good. But when it's 100 degrees, it's hot and it's humid. I want something fruity. I want something light. And you can only drink so much water and iced coffee or iced tea during the day. And it's like, I need something else. I need an adult beverage, please. So I'm loving these fruit wines and just the lighter wines for summer. So July 4th weekend, um, Purple Toad had a sale. I really didn't need anything, but I could not pass up the sale. Their wines used to be like $13.44 or something, and now I think they're $14.15 each. Not a big jump, but prices are going up everywhere. Free shipping used to be at $40. Now it's at $50, so it's still not too bad considering how much everything else is. I did buy a few more summer wines. The one I'm opening today, thanks to Janet, one of my subscribers. I love you so much so much Janet and I can't um, I appreciate you so much and she came up with the suggestion of she would like to see watermelon and coconut wines so you know who am I to argue with Janet so thank you so much Janet I appreciate your support so much I hope you were doing well so today for purple toad we are having watermelon wine and this is rated for on the sweetness scale from one to six, I believe it's 12% alcohol, watermelon wine. I know I had this, if not last summer, maybe the summer before. I know that I liked it. Can't remember exactly what it tasted like, but I know I love it. The coconut wine is from Trade Winds. This is from my bosses. Sent me a case of wine for my birthday, and this was part of it. So the coconut wine. So as I was thinking about it, after I mentioned it, then Janet, Janet had mentioned it, I thought, you know, geez, I should not have finished all the pineapple wine because if I didn't like the coconut wine by itself, I could mix it with pineapple wine. So I went out and bought another one. So this one is from Sutter Home. It's Fruit Infusions, Tropical Pineapple. Try to see what the alcohol content is on this one. So it's 7.5% alcohol, so not a strong wine. Focus, please. So the other pineapple wines that I had, really, it was okay. It was like mild flavor. I ended up kind of infusing using my water pitcher that I used for infused fruit. And I put in some blueberries and pineapple, and it gave it a little bit more flavor. So I'm hoping that maybe this one has a little bit more flavor. I mean, I would probably, and I had said I probably would not buy pineapple wine again, unless maybe I was maybe going to like a luau type party or something like that, because I thought that would, that would be perfect going with that kind of theme. My snacks. You know, part of Wine Diaries, Nancy not only loves her bling and costume type things, she loves snacks. 
I love my snacks. So the last few wines that I've been getting from Wink, they've all mentioned like in the foods to pair it with, they've been mentioning fries. So I bought some frozen French fries from Orida, put them in my air fryer, and then um, this for a summer quick treat. I got this Four Brothers, and they're, I think they're like a local place that, um, it's not at all the grocery stores around me, but it's at Coburn's, one of my local grocery stores. And uh, so they had some pulled pork, and it was already just kind of reheat. You could reheat it in the microwave. I put mine in my wok, because I love my wok. I don't know why, I just do. I always use my wok. So I put that in there. And because it is just the pulled pork that's been seasoned and rubbed, you know, they probably put a rubbing I don't know what that's called where they rub spices on it or whatever so it's got some flavor to it but I like mine kind of moist yeah so I added Trader Joe's organic Kansas City style barbecue sauce I haven't been to Trader Joe's in like two years the safety seal was still good I said I'm going for it and so so good and then I had from Wink um, this is probably about three weeks old now but I've probably got maybe two or three glasses left in here. Yeah, I'm a slow drinker. So this was um, from Sapor Local or Sapori Locali, I don't know. And it's a San Giovese. I'm not really sure how to say that if it focuses. It's probably not gonna focus, but it's a San Giovese. So it's a nice, deep red wine. So good. I had this the night I opened it. I was having some leftover spaghetti. Went really nice um, to kind of reheat it in my wok. I added a little bit to that as well. So I added this with the Trader Joe's and the barbecue. So it's nice and juicy. It's nice and moist. And I put it on one of those Hawaiian buns, the sweet Hawaiian buns. I love those. So that is my treat for tonight. And all right. So before I get into that, I just want to give everyone so I don't forget again. I'm going to put a little uh, video up here, and it's going to be uh, the video for the giveaway that I'm doing that runs through the end of July. And it's for this kind of picture book from the Happy Planner. And it's just a place where you can kind of print and put your pi pictures in. You can probably do a little bit of journaling. I mean, you could even, if you have a favorite recipe, you could have one of these sections here and just put in some of your favorite recipes. They're all kind of tabbed off with different sections. So if you wanted to have this section for this child or this child or your grandchildren or your puppies or you wanted to separate it and have all kind of Christmas pictures together or Halloween pictures together or even if you're on a weight loss journey, you can always use that section for just your section right there. So just so many different things that you can do with it and memories to me they're just so so important and I know we all have uh, I've got tons of pictures on my computer that I keep running out of space and I have pictures on my phone and different phones have dried died and I've lost those pictures that even like AT&T could not get the pictures back for me and I've got things on like SD cards and USB sticks and sometimes you go to put it in because you know you got something there and you wanted to print it out or show somebody and it's and they can't read it so if you have some favorite pictures it's a good chance that think something might happen you might lose those pictures print out your favorites put it in here you'll always have it to look back and enjoy in years to come so again that video is going to be up there and that's going to be for two winners I got two of those books to give away so I'm really excited about that because memories are so important to me alrighty so enough said about that let's get into the wine so I'm gonna do the watermelon first from purple toad you know i love purple toad so again prices have gone up a little bit it's like 14 dollars and 15 cents now a bottle instead of like 13.44 free shipping at 50 dollars. they ship to a lot of states i have no idea why some states don't allow it but they do here thank you thank you so anyway i'm gonna have some watermelon wine i'm just gonna put a little bit in all right and full disclosure I did this like 10 minutes ago. I have no idea where it went. I have no idea. It's not in my recycle thing. It's not in my deleted files. I have no idea. So it's going to be some of the prints on the glass. So anyway, cheers everyone. Happy, happy Friday. It smells like watermelon. It's good. 
it's nice it's sweet it's light i think this one is 12 percent alcohol it's like you just you don't really have to squeeze the watermelon maybe you just kind of mushed it to get all the juice out mixed it with some nice white wine it's nice it's sweet it's light it's perfect so i'm going to do the pineapple one first because i had have i had three or four different kinds and i wasn't really impressed with any of them the last time i did like around two and i put some in my infuser pitcher so i put in some cut up pineapple and some blueberries in there just and it gave it a little bit more flavor to me the flavor just didn't come through for pineapple um it, it's it's nice um i thought if i ever bought it again it would be if i maybe someone was having a luau or some kind of fun summer party like that then it would be perfect to bring along but then i like the coconut wine and i thought well what happens if i don't like the coconut wine and i thought pineapple i can have pina colada wine don't know if i'm gonna like it but i thought i'd give it a try so again set her home and i think this was 4.99 i mean it wasn't expensive at all and i've got it in my youth class i thought you said pour a glass okay i'm gonna put just a little bit in and i don't need that much because i'm gonna put coconut wine in there in a second so again, I can smell the pineapple right away. It's tart. This one, it's not as sweet as the other pineapple wines were. It's tart. You can feel it like back here, tart. Got a little bit to go. Good thing I only poured a little. It's good. I mean, you can taste the pineapple. You can taste the wine but it is it's tart not sweet all righty the coconut wine from trade winds this one is 12.5 percent the um Sutter homes the pineapple is 7.5 and again i can pour probably a little bit more in there because i'm going to put some pineapple in there in a second all righty a little bit more in here so i hope you guys are having a great week Oh my God, these weeks have gone by so fast, so fast. Cheers, everyone. Mm. It's got like a creamy texture. Um, reminds me of the Bai water that I like, the BAI water. I'm probably saying that wrong. Love that coconut water. I like the one that's got the coconut and the lime. That's a coconut and a pineapple. It tastes just like that. It tastes creamy, but with zing because it's got some wine in it. So if you do like like that by coconut water, I think you're going to like this wine. I'm going to have another sip, and then I'm going to put pineapple wine in it. It's weird how it can kind of have a thick kind of creamy texture. Very strange. Alrighty. So I'm going to add some of my Sutter Home, the pineapple wine. Gonna kind of whoops swirl it around kind of get those flavors to blend together so it'll be kind of like a pina colada without the rum without the cream cheers it tastes like a pina colada minus the rum minus the cream you got the taste of the coconut wine taste of the pineapple again it's tartar than i think it could be i think one of the other pineapple wines would be better with it because it was sweeter i wonder if you can add splenda to kind of sweeten it up who knows but anyway so much for that i'm gonna have another sip so i can put my glass down and i want to thank you guys so much for taking a few minutes out of your friday or a weekend or whenever you get to watch this i appreciate it i appreciate you guys more than you'll ever know i just want to remind you again about that um giveaway up there for two winners for the memory books again that really memories mean a lot to me you guys mean a lot to me and i just hope it's something that you enjoy as much as i do i'm looking forward to having some french fries and my pulled pork with the trader joe's barbecue sauce I'm so glad this was still good and the safety seal had not popped yet. But 
anyway thank you guys again i'd love to hear your suggestions on other wines you would like me to try thank you again janet for your suggestion to have the coconut and the watermelon wines i appreciate that so much and i hope you're doing well this weekend <sighs> yeah so anyway take care everyone stay safe because there's more crap going around out there isn't there and be happy be kind enjoy life have some fun love you guys so much bye